Today on All Things 80s, we've got some Star Wars figures, or are they? Welcome back to All Things 80s, and as I'm sure you're aware, I am currently trying to complete my vintage Star Wars figure collection. And to that end, I got a package today. Now, once I get it opened, you'll see what it is, but some might say this does not contain Star Wars figures, while others will say absolutely it contains Star Wars figures. So I won't leave you hanging on any further. I'm gonna get this thing opened up. One, I'm gonna hope that it's in good condition. I think it is. And two, we'll see if you agree if these are indeed Star Wars figures or not. Mm, pretty well packed. So, here we have it. Now, let me just stress that whilst these are new, the packaging is somewhat missing. So anyway, it's Max Rebo and his band. And the reason I asked, are these figures, is because some people consider these to be part of the vintage Star Wars figure line, whilst others, I guess, claim them to be a playset. After much deliberation, I made the decision that these are indeed figures. Uh, I'm gonna get them out and we'll, I'll explain to you why these are vintage Star Wars figures and not necessarily a playset. Now, as you can see, it's missing the outer box. The, the bubbles have yellowed to the point where they're practically brown. Um, I'm just a bit concerned about Max Rebo because one of the reasons I went down this route of getting it still new in package is that when you see him, he's supposed to be blue, but nowadays he's just contour he's turned completely gray. But I'm thinking this one might be okay, actually. Uh, everything else about this packaging is beaten up. The blister bubble, whatever you call it, is lifting in parts. It's actually cracked in a number of spots. So if anyone is going to get upset at me for opening this, maybe best to tune out and watch another channel. As I've said many times, this channel is all about recreating and creating memories. And I don't know about you, but as a child, I opened my toys. That's all I'm gonna say on that subject. So, Max Rebo and his band. And see, it's already popped off. So first things first, Max Rebo, I'm happy with. He's extremely blue. Ah, what am I doing? Not really, but his bubble was cracked, so maybe the air got into it. We'll see on the other figures, because I don't think they're cracked. Well, ass face is cracked. What's he, Droopy McCool? And Sai Snootles doesn't appear to be cracked, so we'll give them a good sniff. Um, slight stickiness to it as well, but I am very, very happy with this. That's about as good as you're going to get for one of these. And I guess we'll get his organ out. Way hey hey. Um, <laughs> so this thing. Now, I did say I class these as. Did I say action figures or just figures? Because certainly, you're not going to get a lot of action from a trio of musicians. And in this instance. This has to be one of the weirdest uh, Star Wars accessories. Uh, uh, a futuristic organ, but, you know. It is what it is, and if you want to have a complete collection, like I do, these are the sort of things that you have to get to do that. So this one, yeah, it looks good. Uh, we'll do ass face next because I think he's, well, he has, his bubble's cracked, so there won't be any new figure smell coming off him, I would imagine. Mm, slightly. Nothing like a TIE Fighter, and again, it's a bit sticky. 
but now in terms of the whole line of Star Wars figures does this one go down as being one of the weirdest um, it's just a bizarre looking thing and actually I think his arms are have faded at different rates because his right arm matches his body, whereas the left arm is definitely lighter, which I think was how he was lying in the bubble. But I think I'm going to have to give these a wash because they're rather sticky. And lastly, Sai Snootles, who, who should have a nice smell to her. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Uh, my God, the legs are a bit bent. Or I mean, it is what? This came out, what, 83? 80, late 83, I think. So it's been there for many decades. Um, fortunately, it has peg holes because that's not going to... Well, it does actually, but it's not standing particularly securely on its own. Um sort of grass skirt thing going on there um i said this one might be the weirdest star wars figure now i think that has to go to this one size noodles it's just bizarre looking but i guess we'll get his the accessories out and i have to be honest and say that if they really had to do figures from musicians, I would much rather have seen the Cantina Band. Uh, I also consider the scene in Return of the Jedi where they're singing that song, especially in the uh, special edition, to be one of the worst parts of the Star Wars trilogy. It's just, it's embarrassing. So let's see if he can get his hand round his organ, let's say his organ, get his hand round his flute or his I was going to say his pink oval but it's not pink, it's black <laughs> so I guess something like that and I'm assuming this must be his microphone yeah whatever and then this one yeah, there's no smell on that so I can not know if you can see them here so this is the Max Rebo band. And whilst I'm not overly impressed with them, it is nice to get hold of them and have them in my collection. Um, so the points of interest are that this Max Rebo is very, very nice. He's nice and blue, which is good to see. Ass face. His arms are different colours, and you'll see that on the close-up shots. I think it was just how he was lying in the in the bubble that the light must have gotten to one side and not the other, because it's match this right arm matches the body, whereas the other arm is definitely lighter in colour. And the legs hang, this is absolutely weird. Right arm and left leg are pinker than left arm and right leg weird 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 and then Sai Snootles um, terrible legs but it's not bad I guess so the question is do you consider these to be part of the action figure line and an essential part if you are looking for a complete collection of figures or do you sort of deem these to be a playset and not essential as part of a figure collection. Like I said, to me, these are figures. They are in the three and three quarter inch scale. So for that reason, that's why I got them. So hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching with special thanks to the Patreons. Please like, please subscribe. And as always, stay tuned for more videos from all things 80s.